Uh, hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to data mosh in 8 minutes or less. What you're going to need is a couple programs. Uh, most of them are free, but some of the others you can just torrent. So what you're going to need is VLC Media Player, Wondershare Video Converter, Sony Vegas Pro, Avidimux 2.5, not higher, and a video. So first things first, we're going to open up Avidimux and open up our video file on it. Uh, you have to you be sure to say no to all the pop-ups that come from Avid Avidimux or else it will screw up your data mosh. So now that you've opened your video, uh, go to the video section in the top left where it says copy and Select the MPEG4 ASP XVID option. Next, you want to go to Configure, Frame, and then set the maximum iframe interval to 9,999,000. Then, then you want to save your video as a just some random string. Alright, once it's saved, close Avidimux and uh, reopen it. Uh, open uh, the video that you saved. In this case, it's going to be test. Uh, maximize your screen and be sure not to play the video or press play because that's just going to screw up your uh, your data mosh. So basically, what data moshing is is that every video is made out of different frames. And what we do in data moshi is we delete iframes using this program. Um, first thing you're gonna pop show up is you're gonna show up is it's gonna be an iframe. You're gonna wanna switch to the second iframe uh, by using the up or down arrow keys on your keyboard. So up would mean you go to the next iframe and down you go to the previous iframe. So what do you do once you've selected an iframe like I have here? You want to select, press the red A button, which I'm clicking, then press the right arrow key, and then click the B button, which I just pressed right now. This selects the iframe, it isolates it, so now you can just press the delete key on your keyboard, and you're set. And what you have to do is just simply rinse and repeat, and you're set. Uh, I'm just gonna speed this up because I know you guys are really interested in that. You guys just want to see the final result. What you have to do is save your project. Doesn't matter. Just call it anything. And now you're pretty much done. The next part of the video is basically going to be how you can edit how you can convert your file so you can use it in uh, Sony Vegas. So what you're going to want to do is open up VLC Media Player and uh, open multiple files from the media section Then you're going to find your file go to settings and then press just follow what I have here on this on the, my computer. You're going to want to save that select the destination file or whatever it doesn't wherever you prefer and uh, you want to start the conversion. Once that's done, you have your your converted file, and you're going to want to convert it again uh, using Wondershare Media Converter. That I'll I'll put all the links down below, so don't worry about that. And while that loads, you can just sit back and relax.
basically um, to choose the right video for for your data moshing it's not too complicated you just have to figure out uh, you have to find a video which has very slow slow moving camera shots and it should have a lot of action inside so the camera isn't moving a lot but the objects within the shot are moving like you'll see here and that is how you data mosh thank you guys for watching my video and enjoy <laughs>